Hello, today we are going to take a look at something very interesting. On my desk I've got uh, two batteries that are compatible with a Sony NPF standard. This is a genuine one from Sony. This one is fully operational. And long time ago I did make a turndown of a broken one and I know for a fact that inside we've got a uh, two cylindrical cells but here I've got a Chinese replacement that battery is broken here is the model number it did work for quite long time so it's not about that China have a bad quality but it's about that, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the battery bulged to the point that the enclosure cracked. This is uh, quite interesting, can you see? And what I found interesting, that's that in my entire life, I never came across a cylindrical cell that bulge and broke anything that's commonly found by me on a lithium polymer battery that they are expand they are bulge and this is even something that is that is reported in the data sheet for the battery that if you put them inside of the device you have to allow them to expand and you need to add a free room, add some phone that can be crushed if it's expand. So we are going to take a look what kind of cells do we have inside. Is this if, if they are cylindrical or not? I have no idea how to attack this. But my first try will be remove the at the glue. And just, I didn't expect that, but we can confirm that we've got a prismatic cell. I never, are those a prismatic in metal? That's a quite interesting. Can we take it out? So using the metal one prying tool will be not a good idea. I managed to make a two things. First of all is turn down the battery from the very not nice plastic case. And the second one is make a bloody sacrifice for my channel. So everything is going very good. And that's the content of the battery. So we are confirming once again that it is true that I never saw a cylindrical cell expanding to the point that it break a case because it didn't contain a cylindrical cells like the genuine one. They go for a prismatic one. It's quite interesting because those are enclosed in a metal and from all sides they've got a padding just like I told you and that's a very good and common thing. You can clearly see how the pad was crushed here. That was how it was looking at the original way. That's how when it starts to be crushed, crushed, crushed and the enclosure cracked and you can see how they are not holding and one of them 
will be expanded, we've got a 2S3P configuration, 2 in series, 3 in parallel. And let's open this and let's take a look. We've got a small PCM board that's clearly not a info lithium that's going to be just a basic PCM for protection. I open the package and here is our broken cell. You can clearly see how it's being expanded, how it's being bulged. And this is how it looks like. So the only comment is that it was actually a quite good battery with a good capacity. And you can clearly see they fill the battery to the brim with uh, cells. So it was definitely not a fake one. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.